Good morning friends and welcome back to Astrology Today. My name is Mel Rose and I'm here to quickly preview the next 10 days most impactful aspects with you. The dates January 30 through February 8 cover Deccan 4 of 36 this year. This is the second 10 days of the Sun's transit in the land of Aquarius. So for every Deccan or every 10 day segment, there's a corresponding numbered suited card from the Tarot deck. This 10 day segment of the year corresponds to the Six of Swords. Aquarius is an air sign and swords in Tarot cover air element symbolism. And air element symbolism has to do with the intellect and how we use it, mostly to tackle problems, make plans and communicate with others. The Six of Swords then speaks to a moment of transition. We're leaving things behind that make us sad or angry or that simply aren't working out for us. And while it may not be the best feeling, we know this move is necessary for our own progress. Whatever we're turning to embrace at this time, it holds the promise of less pain and more potential. Sun in Aquarius is actually very interested in our potential as individuals and in terms of the collective. It doesn't just want us to do what has been working. It wants us to think in broader, more inclusive terms, to look to the future and to ask, what is going to work best for our present and future support and uplift? And with that in mind, let's have a preview of the next 10 days. We enter the fourth deck in here, uh, on Monday, January 30, it's a day of transition. Moon moves on into Gemini very early this morning, drawing out our desire to play, to communicate, connect, and collaborate. Moon will also conjunct Mars that night, Con Cancer, Aries, and Scorpio, awakening a sense of initiative in our bodies and our private experience. The sun is trying to the moon late on Monday, Leo and Cancer, lending us ease and positivity as we move forward with the culmination of these goals that we have set. That's a great vibe to be feeling as we move on into Tuesday the 31st, sun, moon, Mars, Sun, Moon, Mars, Jupiter, and Chiron are all in these positive positions together. Leo, Cancer, Aries, and Scorpio, Sagittarius and Pisces, and Virgo. Initiative is on our side. We find it easy to take action on the things we're working to culminate, and we experience personal growth and personal healing as we go. And hey, Here's an energetic hint. If the stars say that things should be going easily for you and you're finding them rather difficult, it's time to check in and see whether you're fully invested in, in what it is you're trying to do. Half a heart won't do the trick at this time. If there's something you fear about these goals or perhaps they're just goals you think you should pursue but that you don't feel very good about them, there's still time to reassess the plan and adjust the trajectory. Wednesday, February 1st, brings us an opportunity to seek and find solutions to our problems, especially in the work, social, and civic parts of life. The sun completes a sextile to Chiron that day, Leo and Virgo. Sextile is a cooperative vibration and cooperation makes things happen. Take advantage of this vibe by fostering positive feelings for yourself and others and see what options and opportunities arise to create something new and more workable. On Thursday, February 2nd, the moon moves on into Cancer. This is a time to turn to the home side life. Nurture and nourishment are the name of the game. Attend that give and take you have with your home environment and your relationships with the people you keep close. Thursday is the solar observation of Imbolc, our celebration that represents the midpoint between winter solstice and spring equinox. This is a time to engage in public service, rearrange and clean things in the workplace, and set our public life intentions for the next year. Let your cohort, your co-workers, your, your social partners in on your plans so that they can conspire with you for your success. 
in bulk is one of the traditional fire holidays. We don't do many public fires these days, but if you have a good space for it, this can be a good time to hold a social gathering, burn off some of that lingering winter gloom, and celebrate the fact that the days get longer and warmer every day from here on in. Spring equinox is just six weeks away. Yay! It'll be here in a flash. Friday the 3rd, the sun completes a square to Uranus, Leo, Aquarius. Watch out for surprises. They may not be feeling so pleasant or welcome. Sometimes we can't help but be affected by the things we didn't create and aren't trying to participate in. This is going to be our day to be cool, Fonzies. Then on Saturday the 4th, the moon moves on into Leo. This is just a time to be our dazzling selves, to show our loyalty, to be generous with our gifts, and to appreciate the contributions with others as well. Venus will culminate a square to Mars that day, Taurus and Libra, Aries and Scorpio. We may find that we are not quite on the same page with a loved one. This is when it will be important to remember why we're committed to the well-being of this person and our connection with them. And then on Sunday, February 5, that is the day of the full moon in Leo. The sun's light is fully reflected by the moon on this night, shining a light on our accomplishments. It's appropriate to relax a little and celebrate. Leo's influence invites us to do, a, do so in the spirit of sharing and our appreciation of the people who make our success possible. Monday, the 6th, Mercury perfects a sextile to Neptune, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces. This vibe may be creatively restless, like the same old routine just isn't working for us. It's a mood for trying to create a more colorful and connected experience in our lives. Then on Tuesday the 7th, the moon moves on into the land of Virgo. This motivates us in our personal lives to tidy up, set things in order, and unravel any interpersonal tangles we find ourselves in. Also that day, Venus completes a sextile to Uranus, Taurus and Libra, Aquarius, Whatever you do today, you may have an urge to make a game of it. We indulge a strong sense of play and lightheartedness with this aspect that looks good on just about anyone. And then finally, on Wednesday, February 8th, the sun will be quincunx to the moon, Leo and Cancer. We can find that we feel restless and unhappy about it. Our inner and outer lives are in a mode of adjustment to one another. So be kind to yourself and just do what's in front of you. And that's it for the fourth deck and friends. Dates January 30 all the way through February 8. The sun is giving us reasons to work, to show off, to celebrate and appreciate, and to take care of some business that moves us in the direction of personal healing and empowerment. The sun even gives us the light of the full moon this week, which is another opportunity to notice what you've accomplished and to feel good about it. It's all about the sense of purpose this time around, friends, and where that purpose is driving us toward the promise of better circumstances. Thank you so much for tuning in today, friends. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, request notifications, and hey, share it with a friend. I post here every day and I so enjoy sharing this content with you. My love and gratitude go out to you all, and I'll see you all back here tomorrow for more Astrology Today.